the scum. Nothing like having to re-record a video because the audio file decides to cut out midway, eh? Gotta love technology, right? But hey, second time's the charm. Maybe this video, maybe this recording will be a little more concise than my previous one. Uh, because yes, we are taking a look at two brand new TVC action figures to add to our Imperial ranks. We have the Imperial Assault Tank Commander and the Death Star Gunner. I really love both of these figures. One of them is basically just released out of obligation because they released the TVC hover tank and they honestly really needed to release this to actually, you know, make sense. And then this guy, well, well needed update. This update is about uh, how many, 13 years in the making, older than some of you people watching this video right now. Um, but yeah, so happy to see these figures actually made. Let's talk about the hover tank commander real quick, or the Imperial Assault Tank Commander, excuse me. I always call them the hover tank commander. Like, I don't call them Scarif Stormtroopers, I just call them Shore Troopers, because I like that more. But anyways, yeah, he's just a repaint of this guy. I mean, there isn't too much to talk about. Uh, but I still managed to talk about him for five minutes in my previous recording, so let's try not to do it for that long again. Uh, really nice image on the TVC card. You can see Imperial Assault Tank Commander, blah, blah, blah. Um, I like the images they do. And you can see on the back, it's advertising the other new figures in the wave. I'm not going to get that R2-D2. I just don't need it. But yeah, there we go. That's the TVC card back. Now let's take a look at this guy, because he's really cool and nice. Uh, not too much to talk about, like I said. He's just, he's just a repaint. You can see there's not too many differences. Of course, there's differences in the weathering. It's weathered in different places, guys. Uh, the the I figured I would not cut that one out because you need to experience what it's like to try to talk in these videos, and then your tongue just completely stops working. Uh, the commander does have some some little extra little black details on his back and on his helmet, um, and he also has some gray on his shoulders and on his chest. There you go. There's the main differences. I do enjoy having this, though. I do enjoy having the commander because, hey, it, you know, I like having a commander leading my my minions, my soldiers. One thing I need to talk about, though, uh, I was talking about in my review of this guy that the mold error from the 5 POA helmet, because um, they just reused this helmet from the 5 POA version, that mold error was still present on this one. And it's still present on this one. You can kind of see how the brow is slightly upturned. Like, he's just kind of like, what did you just say to me? Or like, oh, la la. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of a shame. Still a really nice looking figure, though. I wish it had the black line on the mouth. But, you know, what can you do? Anyways, let's talk about how he moves. Because I've already done this a couple times. But I'll do it again real quick. Uh, head's just on that old single ball joint. It doesn't have the double ball joint anymore. Or it doesn't have it... <laughs> I, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, his shoulders, his, his, his elbows, his wrists, he's got the motion, he's got the movement. One extra other subtle detail is that the guns, the gun is more nicely painted on the commander than it was on the normal pilot. So that's great. I appreciate that. But yeah, really good figure, really solid. If you have the hover tank, this is a must own. It's a must own. But see, I don't have the hover tank because I just, I, I'm not too big on vehicles and I just haven't gotten around to it. I don't know if I ever will get it. So I just like having the commander. He's really nice. I recommend him. 10 out of 10. Um, I mean, he's, he's good for what he is. And then next up, let's talk about this guy. The Death Star Gunner. Ah, oh, this figure's great. Oh, I love it so much. Uh, the card, a really nice image of the Death Star Gunner as he appeared in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. What? Yeah, he's not based off of uh, A New Hope or Power of the... <laughs> Power of the Jedi. Um, Power of the Force, Return of the Jedi. Uh, he's just the Rogue One version. Uh, Death Star Gunner, or Canonier de Elite de la Mort. Um, okay. Then on the back here, you can see it's got it's got the other figures. Wow, it's the vintage collection. Uh, so yeah, really great figure. Absolutely love it. It's just so, so good. It makes me happy on the inside and on the outside. Uh, comparisons with other previous Death Star Gunners. Here it is with the Power of the Force 2 one and the Saga Collection one, the most recent one we've gotten. And no competition. This one is clearly the absolute worst. No, I'm just joking. It's it's the best. Uh, this guy is cool for what he is. He's a gunner. He can just kind of gun and be there and exist. Uh, he's got some neat weapons. Giant E-11 if you need one of those for your Navy commandos. And then here, just the normal guy. He's got a removable helmet, though. So you can see his little face underneath. Really interesting head sculpt. I've always enjoyed that head sculpt. Then you can just kind of 
get it on. Even though every Death Star Gunner figure owner will relate to the dust that gets right in there, and it's so hard to remove. Uh, <laughs> you have to, like, completely scrub the helmet, and I didn't do that before this video. But yeah, this figure's got kind of... He's got those swivel elbows that I personally kind of dig, but I know a lot of people don't. But he doesn't have any ankle articulation, and he... He, he, he's, he's good for the time, and I think he still has a place in most people's collections. But this new TVC one is really, really great. Uh, I think this armor look is kind of more based off of um, Return of the Jedi, if I'm not mistaken. And in um, A New Hope, he doesn't have the armor, and he's just kind of got the normal clothes. I think that's how it goes. But yeah, definitely do like the, uh, the kind of tunic the new TVC one has going on. So as you can see, this new TVC one is absolutely rocking it. Because he's got really good articulation and he looks really good. So this helmet speaks to me on a spiritual level. I really do enjoy it. You may be wondering, why is the antenna slightly bent? That's because, as you can see from this image, uh, from an actual costume, from the actual movie, some of the antennas were just bent. And I guess on uh, I guess on this figure, Hasbro decided to kind of replicate that look. I can see how it, uh, how it upsets people and how it irritates people. You can always kind of fix it if you want. But it's supposed to actually be bent slightly inwards. Um, that's actually how it's supposed to be. It's not warped. That is seriously how they designed it. Um, but yeah, the head just moves like a dream. I love the shiny silver Imperial logo. Even though he does have a slight mold line on the visor there. I don't know if you can see. That's kind of irritating. But he's got a slight line right in the dead middle. Uh, some silver right there. Other than that, absolutely no paint whatsoever. Besides a little bit on the gun. Interesting choice of gun. Uh, but hey, he comes with a gun. I appreciate that. Really good looking figure, honestly. Such a such a cool thing. I love it so much. Articulation's really good. Got that double ball joint at the head that just works like an absolute dream. Shoulders move up all the way. You can see on this elbow, it just bends really good. And it just, oh, bends so nice. He does have the, the hinges in his wrists, believe it or not. But his wrists are just so tiny. I'm kind of worried that something's going to give on that. But hey, they work and they're nice. He does have a nice ball joint at the torso there. And you do have a softer piece of plastic up front. So that'll that'll get out of the way when you need it to. Good range on the legs. I do like this new kind of system for the legs. I do. Thigh swivel, knee bend, which bends pretty good. Bends pretty good, man. And then typical ankle swivel and hinge. Superb figure. Absolutely superb. Anyone who says a 3 quarter inch TVC is not producing good stuff is absolutely wrong. But if anyone says TVC, you know, stuff is just not producing stuff you can find and they're not producing enough, you're correct. Because the, these figures are putting out, man, they're really good. They're, they're just real, they're really good, right? But the problem is, they're just not putting out enough. I mean, this wave. Do you want to know the new figures in this wave, pretty much? Like the brand new figures? Boom, there you go. Those are the two brand new figures. Everything else is a repaint or a re-release. <sighs> Whatever, though. Um, <laughs> it's, it's what we got. And I do love these figures still, though. I, I love them, but I just wish Hasbro would be putting more out. Let's kind of get him in different poses there. I don't like that. That's stupid. Hey, look, I cut down about two minutes on this recording of the video. Maybe it's because I hate having to re-record videos, and I just want to get rid of all the stupid stuff I said. But yeah, there we go. There's my review of these guys. Absolutely recommend them. Uh, the best one out of these two is by far the Gunner. The Gunner is just amazing. Get the Gunner. Get the Gunner. I'm tempted to get two of the Gunner, but I don't know if I will. Uh, but yeah, there we go, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. It's also my P.O. Box address. Have a good day, and as always, may the Force be with you.